Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Vivi, and you may wonder, Vivi, you look a bit weird today. You look different than you usually look, or what you usually wear. And I have to agree, that's not what I would usually wear, but it's a compromise. Right now, I'm not alone here. I'm kind of confronting with two other altars, one of them being Taylor, who chose to wear the sweater and the skirt we're wearing, and Isa, who did our makeup. I'm not sure if you can see it correctly. I'm sorry for the bad lightning. It's already quite dark outside. Our room light is very yellow, so it doesn't make for a good quality of video. So here's the desk lamp. It's just half past 12, so like noon time. It's already kind of gloomy and dark outside. It's very strange, but what can I do? This is the only light Thing we have otherwise we wouldn't be able to film a video just sitting in the dark I can show you like this is what the things would be like but I don't really enjoy that so it might be a bit bright but we like it better than the really dark one so anyways today's video is another pizza love video, a video that we upload once a month, usually at the end. Right now it's the 2nd December, yet we're still uploading our pizza love video from November, since our mental health hasn't been too well and this video has had to be delayed. So here we are filming today, we're feeling okay, we're feeling a bit rested, still a bit tired, still in a bit of pain but happy enough and content enough to make this video. If you don't know what our Pizza Love videos are about, this section on our channel is all about spreading love, support and care. We share funny, happy, relieving stories of yours, big achievements or accomplishments, positive changes in your lives, or encouraging quotes and or messages. All of them are usually or should be regarding DID, OSDD, other mental or physical health conditions, illnesses or disabilities to share that things can get better, things can change, that the world is not as bad, that life isn't as bad, that you can still make positive experiences and that things can definitely change for the better. We want to spread the love, we want to spread your love, your support and we are just very glad that a lot of you are taking part in this section, that a lot of you are enjoying this section and it just means a lot to us. It's also brightening our days, filming these videos, reading these things. It's just very, very encouraging and heartwarming. So thank you for sharing and thank you for watching as well. Now, if you want to take part in future Pizza Love videos, there will be a section at the end where I probably explain how you can enter and now we should get started. So our first story is from Alchemy Heals DID and they share that after a decade of trying and giving up on meds, we stumbled upon one that miraculously alleviated so many mood symptoms. At the exact time, we got into a trauma clinic to do cognitive processing therapy, still amazed at how our hard work, self-advocating for so many years, has finally begun to pay off. That just sounds amazing. I know how hard it can be to find right medication, to figure out which medications work for you and which 
dos dosage works for you is overall very very hard because all of us are different and something that might work for you might not work for us or someone else and sometimes some specialists can be very stubborn about it and tell you that things are working even though you don't feel a difference and then they tell you for months and months and months and years even that they are working and they should work and you just don't feel a difference but self-advocating is not only important for helping your own recovery it helps understanding whatever you are struggling with it helps understanding and learning about the things that doctors tell you it helps you get involved with what's going on self-advocating can help finding right treatments seeing what works for you what doesn't and giving yourself also an overall view and feeling of not being alone that you are not alone and that there are so many things to learn and that there's not just one option i believe that it was very very frustrating to try out one medication and you usually have to take medication and getting adjusted for a longer t period of time so having to do that multiple times and always like getting the same answer that's or finding out that's not working and not feeling any change or help or support can be very frustrating it can make you feel very like something's wrong with you since it should be working but it's never your fault it's not your fault that something chemically or plant wise isn't working for your body and your overall well-being it's not your fault it's just not working for you but that isn't like you are not wrong in that situation i really want to congratulate you and tell you that we're incredibly proud that you are taking this step of getting into a trauma clinic trying out this cognitive processing therapy and making this brave decision to go there and take that step it can be very scary and i'm not sure or we are not sure if that was the case for you but in any case if it was or wasn't it was a brave decision it's sometimes hard to ask for help or get help even and it's just amazing that you were able to do this we wish you all the best with that and no matter how this experience will turn out you will learn something from that experience you will always learn something and it will help yourself with self-advocating and encouraging you to self-advocate so congratulations and thank you for sharing your story our next story is from Kasai I hope I'm pronouncing that rightly I'm sorry I don't our funny relieving story was actually when we first found out we're a system two of our alters Alex and Rowan we're actually joking and laughing with each other while Alex fronted and Rowan was Kokon. It was just so pleasing to hear from the inner world. A positive change in my life would be my partner. They are so accepting of us as a system and we all love her. A large accomplishment in our system would have been figuring out our little's name. He actually told our partner and we found out about it. We knew about his existence but he never told us his name. My quote would be to trust the process. It's okay to not be sure if you're a system. It took a while for us to find out and now we feel wonderful. Trust yourself and it will be amazing. Much love from all of us. Thank you. There's so much love in this. It's just very nice to read, nice to hear. It is wonderful to make that experience of feeling loved 
getting the care that you need and it can take a long time to get adjusted to or learning about things that you haven't had any experience with but our partner um, Lexi she was also well she is a very positive change in our life day by day so it's wonderful to see and hear that it's not just us there's also another system that has a partner and to every other system out there there are also singlets that are loving and will take care of you multiplicity in me also has a partner they have child even and systems can also get in relationships with other systems there's just so much life out here that gets overshadowed a lot by hate and the feeling of being lonely the hate towards oneself but you are lovable there is someone out there there are more people out there let's see how valid you are let's see your heart let's see not just the things others have told you you are you are so much more than that and there are people that will love you there are people that love you i'm sorry now to the quote at the end that you should trust the process and it's okay to not know if you're a system we want to say it's right it's all right to not know if you're a system a process takes time you don't know the answer at the beginning it takes time to figure stuff out especially since the idea isn't an easy diagnosis to make um, involves a lot of communication and talking and records and stuff and just a lot of different things and it's all right if you don't know if you're a system, if you have DID, if you don't have DID, if you have OSDD or not, it's okay. Things will figure themselves out. You will find the answer. You will find out what's going on. And it's okay to not know right away. It's okay that it I just don't do that. Shared Space DID sent us a message saying you matter, you are seen and you are valid. Your life is important, has meaning and the people who love you as you are are the people that matter. We have recently begun therapy as a system and two of us have begun talking after 15 years of feud and silence. We were gobsmacked and couldn't believe it. Things can change for the better. However dark the days may seem, never feel that you are alone in your journey. Tell your story and ask for help. You are loved and you are needed. Shed space. XXX. Thank you for sharing that. It's very heartwarming, personally. It's getting me emotional. <laughs> um, okay, another wonderful, not only message, but also story, sharing the things do get better, that things can get better, that things will get better. It can be so hard in one moment to ever think, especially when you're in your darkest times, to think that anything would ever change, that anything or anyone would ever talk about what's going on in yourself or that anyone will ever understand what's going on. 
but please don't give up keep holding on and one day you will make this experience one day it will get better it can take a bit it can take 15 years it can take longer than 15 years but things can get better and things will get better there have been years in my life where I've never ever thought that anything would change. There have been years in my life where I wouldn't even have considered that I would feel that I would wake up and I feel not okay, but a bit worse than okay. But that what other people would might consider as worse was actually for me a good day and even though it's not wonderful or good it is a change and it was a change for the better it's not every day like that some days I still feel as bad and recovery is a roller coaster life is a roller coaster can go down quite a bit can go up quite a bit but at the end there are also always up times. In dark periods, you can still see stars in night skies. And you don't have to always go on, go on, go on. You can also just sit down, take a breath, rest for a while, look at the stars, look at the things that are positive, things that make you hold on keep them in mind gather some strength of yours and then keep on moving things can get better and it's important to know that you're not alone in what's going on sharing what you're feeling can be incredibly helpful sharing our stories and what we're going through is helping us a lot it makes us feel not alone. It's wonderful to be able to connect with others that even though you make different experiences, there are things we have in common. And it's always wonderful to hear from you that, oh, we also yawn when we switch. And I always thought that that's just something we do. And then someone else does that too. And they feel relieved or that we can share that after a breakdown how we feel and that you're not alone with how you feel after these things that you're not alone in overall how you feel we are all different and there will always be differences but no matter what and no matter in which extent you will feel these emotions you are not alone you are understood, you are valid, you matter, and you are needed, just like Shared Space said. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your messages. Lastly, we'll put in a clip. We shared this video over on our Instagram already, so if you don't follow us over there, then go check it out. We upload every day and you can keep up with what's going on in our system and who's out at the time who took a picture and seeing our different styles and such as well as just how we're doing um but they got to see this video earlier than you did maybe if you don't follow us over there and it's a video of our little flip receiving a very special gift from her girlfriend and i think you will enjoy it so Let's go. Goofy dinosaur. Shine, shine fully. We don't see his eyes. Thank you for watching. It was wonderful to have you here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. 
write in the comments what you think and check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon, subscribe to our channel and if you want to take part in future videos like these um, we upload how they work every month on our Instagram again near the end of the month there you can check out some details but shortly you can DM us over there you can comment below these posts we upload there you can send us an email the email address is in the description below well <laughs> goodbye